Preparation of food by plants We see trees, shrubs, herbs and grass around us. One thing is common in them, that they are full of green leaves. The green pigment called chlorophyll makes the leaves green. Only green leaves make food for the plants. Hence, the leaves are called the food factories or kitchens of the plant. Structure of a leaf Veins Look at a leaf against light. You will see a network of veins. These veins are tubular and carry water to all parts of the leaf. The leaf has a thick main vein in the middle, which gives off very thin side veins. The main vein is called midrib. The main vein has two tubes. One tube carries water and minerals from the stem to the leaf and the other tube carries prepared food from the leaf to the other parts of the plant. Stomata See the underside of a leaf under a microscope. It has minute pores called stomata. Through these stomata, leaf takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen and water vapour. It is like the nostril to the leaf. Leaf Bleed The flat broad surface of the leaf is called the leaf bleed. It helps to trap the maximum amount of sunlight. Petiole The petiole or the stalk of the leaf attaches the leaf blade to the stem. It helps in the supply of water and food similar to the stem. Stipule Stipule are small leaf-like that are found at the base of the petiole of many flowering plants. Preparation of food by plants Leaves need carbon dioxide, water and sunlight for preparing food for the plant. The leaves take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Water sucked by the roots from the soil is carried to the leaves by the stem. Chlorophyll present in the leaves traps the energy of sunlight. This energy turns carbon dioxide and water into the food. This process of preparing food by the plant is called photosynthesis. The word photo means light. The word synthesis means putting together. The word photosynthesis means putting together by light. Leaves take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen during photosynthesis. At night, Leaves take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. The food prepared by the leaves is a kind of sugar called glucose. Plants use glucose to produce energy by burning it in their cells. This energy helps the plants to grow. During photosynthesis, oxygen and a little amount of water vapour is also produced. Plants do not use all the food prepared by them. A part of the food is stored as starch in their parts, such as leaves, seeds, roots, fruits and stems. Here is an activity to show leaves have starch. Leaves have starch. Take a green leaf. Boil it in a beaker filled with water for some time. Then, take the leaf in a test tube containing spirit. Boil the test tube in a beaker of hot water. Remember, spirit should not be heated directly on flame. It will catch fire. Boil the leaf till the green colour of the leaf disappears. Now, wash the leaf with cold water and pour some drops of iodine solution on the leaf. What do you observe? The leaf turns blue-black in colour. Starch 
gives blue black color with iodine solution this shows that starch is present in green leaves here is an activity to show sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis take a potted plant cover a leaf of the plant with a piece of paper leave the plant in sunlight for 3 to 4 days plug the leaf from the plant and test it for starch as in the previous activity what do you observe the leaf does not turn blue black because the leaf could not prepare food in the absence of sunlight this shows that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis here is an activity to show chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis leaves of the plants like croton and coleus are not fully green some parts of these leaves are of different colors take two similar coleus leaves take one of them and test it for the presence of starch as you have learned in the previous activities now compare its color with the other leaf what do you find the green part turns blue black and non green part does not change this shows that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis some unusual plants some plants like mushrooms and molds are non green plants they do not have chlorophyll so they cannot make their own food they get their food from the dead and decaying plants and animals some plants have colored leaves the leaves of a croton plant are dark in color they also have chlorophyll but the red pigment hides their color photosynthesis takes place in such plants as well a cactus has green stems photosynthesis takes place in its stem food and energy we need food to stay alive food we eat gives us energy to work the chief source of energy is our sun during photosynthesis plants trap energy from sunlight to prepare their food this energy is stored in fruits stems leaves and roots some energy is stored in their body in the form of starch when we eat them the energy is passed on to us this is called flow of energy energy flows from the sun to green plants from green plants to herbivores and from herbivores to carnivores this forms a kind of chain where energy flows from the sun to the plants and then to animals in the form of food such chain is called a food chain the sequence showing the relationship between organisms on their feeding habits is called food chain balance in nature plants and animals depend on each other we and animals get food and oxygen from plants plants need carbon dioxide to prepare food human beings and animals breathe out carbon dioxide which is used by the plants when animals die their dead remains mix in the soil and form important nutrients for the plants as plants and animals depend on each other the number of plants and animals can affect the balance in nature if the number of plants would be quite less than that of animals animals would not get enough food and oxygen to live similarly if the number of animals would be quite less than that of plants plants would not get enough carbon dioxide to prepare food to maintain this balance 
we should protect animals and plants we should stop cutting down of forests and killing of wild animals we should grow more plants and take care of them